morning YouTube <clears throat> I'm on my way back to a job I was at yesterday I started a installation of a noble boiler another one and uh, I didn't have the camera with me I didn't have batteries I did <laughs> I had the camera I didn't have batteries so I didn't record anything so anyway um, so when I get there we'll I'll get you caught up on what's going on and where we're gonna go and uh, take you along for some more of the work stay tuned Okay, so welcome back. Uh, so this happened yesterday. We built a false wall um, to hang the boiler on because it didn't have really a good spot to put it. Um, the outsides of the walls have been protected because there's a lot of moisture out here. So the uh, previous owner had this all sealed off. So we built the false wall. Today we're gonna connect that pipe and this pipe to the boiler itself again this is the combination boiler so we have um on-demand hot water heater and we have uh space heating so we'll get gas hooked up we'll get space heating hooked up um it's uh, you know it's chilly now this time of year so we want to get that hooked up and get them some heat so we can get the hot water done um but we're going to focus on the heat today so uh let's get her done forgot to show you i forgot to mention that we did get the intake and exhaust pipes ran and out in uh, into a concentric vent out the front of the house now we would have loved to go on the short route and go out the side but this is all capped in concrete this is all all concrete so it was easier to get out the wood out the front than it was out the concrete out the side so okay let's get moving Thank you. 
Well, good morning. It's day three. <coughs> and let's see what we got. Uh, we got all our piping in yesterday for the heating portion. Um, seen some of that soldered in. We got uh, gas piping in. We got pump tank, air purger, valves, gauges, and we have our reserve tank hooked up. Um, we have reserve tank because we have antifreeze in the system and here if you don't have it on a tank you have to have a testable backflow preventer and that uh, has to be tested every year and that's a little more expensive having a tank you do it once you kind of check it here and there um, makes it a little nicer for the customer so today we are going to replace the zone valves these guys have been here for a while and want to make sure that they have good zone valves before we get started for the heating season. Um, we got a condensate to run. If we look over here, cut in a new drain, a new drain for the condensate. We'll run a condensate line from there. I had to get a new fitting. This is too big a fitting. This is a 5 8 barb and I need a 3 8 So we got that, and we'll run, we got to run the hot and cold water lines uh, to feed the domestic hot water and get rid of the hot water tank. We got to pull the damper out and cap that, and it's not a terrible thing. And uh, so you got some of the electrical done here. I got to finish that up. And uh, yeah, so we got a little bit of work to do. So let's get started.
Okay, so we got some isolation valves in and uh, I'm getting ready to pipe in a thermostat thermostatic mixing valve so we can mix it down. We have to have an expansion tank in there and a check valve, which is there. And so we'll get that in. I think that's all gonna go behind and we can get the hot out that way and then go back up to where we're gonna put the pipes. So stick around, we'll show you more. Okay, for now we're heating. Um, got a little bit of domestic water line to finish tomorrow and uh, we'll take you along for that. So let's take a little break. Uh, I'll see you shortly. Okay, one of the last things. <laughs> one of the last things I gotta do is cap up this chimney. And uh, I guess I'll take this opportunity now. Um, if you're seeing this, uh, chances are this kind of got to be a long video and uh, wanted something to kind of break it up. Um, so the next section you'll see uh, will likely be a domestic hot water hookup, getting rid of, get, you know, emptying the, the original hot water tank, you know, getting those pipes put together, um, some other odds and ends and things and uh, seeing it run, you know, at least on a domestic hot water side. It's been running on heat all night, but um, anyway, thanks for watching. Look forward to this next section. Um, hopefully I can fit this all in one, but if not, I sure do appreciate you watching. Look forward to the next one and appreciate you watching that one too. Let's take this chimney out, huh? Do I put it in this one or do I put it in the next one? <laughs> I guess I won't know until I start editing. All right, we'll see you.